So we're here live on the Taste of Dan for today. I'm here with Dan Vieira. He is the executive board officer for Toronto Professional Firefighters Association. So Dan, it's so lively here. What are you guys doing here tonight? Uh, tonight we're here uh, in addition to uh, the firefighters from 32 district th out of station 323. Uh, we're here selling merchandise. Uh, we have hats, we have t-shirts uh, with different designs on them. But basically everything that we're selling tonight, uh, basically we're, we're generating funds for the Danforth Strong uh, families that were affected by the recent shooting. Um, all the funds that we're don't, uh, raising tonight, all proceeds go towards those funds to, to assist those families that were affected. And how do you feel the shooting has impacted the Danforth community? Um, I don't live in the neighborhood personally, but I do know people that live and work in the neighborhood. And I think all Torontonians were, were shocked. Uh, this is not something that we're used to seeing uh, in, in Canada. Uh, definitely not in our city. I was born and raised in the city. And uh, despite what other might, people might think about it, this is a very safe city to live in. And I still think that way. But so this was, uh, it was a real shock for a lot of people. It hit close to home. Uh, there was no real rhyme or reason for it. Um, but, you know, we're, we live in Toronto and people here are strong and, you know, we're here to show them that we're, we're here to support them and, and hopefully these funds will help them out a little bit on their way to, you know, recovery. So, yeah. Do you feel like this was an isolated incident or do you feel like it's indicative of crime increasing in Toronto? Um, no, uh, you know, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think it's an, an indication of anything, you know, out of the ordinary happening or an increase. Uh, you know, uh, I just think, unfortunately, it was an unfortunate, isolated incident with one individual who, for whatever reason, felt that he he needed to do a, a violent act. Um, you know, I can't rationalize what was going through that person's mind. But uh, like I said, Toronto's a safe city, and I'm sure, you know, if people check the stats and don't believe a lot of the hype uh, around, when, you know, when these incidents happen, I think it's a safe city. Uh, and again, I was born and raised in the city. I have, I'm not afraid to walk down the streets. And, you know, I think we have a great police service, uh, you know, that keeps us safe and sound. And, and uh, we have a great community that looks out for each other, and I hope we continue to do that. Sorry, one last question. So this summer, I guess the cause of concern for many people is that there has been a rather large rash of gun violence. So would you say that this year has been out of the ordinary with that? Uh, again, I mean, I don't have the stats in front of me. Um, you know, there have been spikes in the past. Uh, you know, these I think these are outliers. I mean, you know, to look at one month statistics or two months of statistics and extrapolate that into this, you know, idea that somehow, you know, that's our city's turned violent. Uh, I, I think that's the wrong way to look at it. You know, I think, uh, you know, we have to take them for what they are. They're, they're isolated incidents where, you know, individuals unfortunately felt they needed to be violent. Uh, but again, you know, I think people can see past that. I, I think we all, people that live here anyway, can see when we walk out and, you know, on and live our day-to-day -day lives that that's not the case and, and I'm glad for that and I think others are glad for that and uh, you know I'm going to continue uh, supporting the citizens of this city and you know hopefully we can remain safe and sound and again hopefully these are outliers that we won't see for a long time. All right, then thank you very much, Dan. So once again, I am with Dan Vieira, Executive Board Officer for Toronto Professional Firefighters Association. We're here live at the Taste of Danforth, where it is quite lively at the beginning of the three-day weekend. And reporting live, I'm Renali Anshin.